2.2 Nature created man and woman as equals. Class, 8th English Balbarati Unit Number 2 Lesson Number 2 Reading Skill Learn How to Read in Proper Tone and Intonation Nature created man and woman as equals. The house and its surroundings are a site of peace. In the early morning of April, it nestles by the side of a small stream of crystal clear water. The stream tumbles down the green mountains only two miles or so away. There is a stretch of hundreds of acres of fertile land rolling with yellow mustard flowers between the mountain range and the house. A garden is in front of the house. Trees of many kinds bearing flowers of various hues and fruits grow on all sides of the house. The courtyard smells of jasmine which blooms in bunches of white pearls. The fragrance mingles with the thin smoke that rises from sweet-smelling incense. Sticks. The burning incense sticks are glowing at the altar of God in the middle of the courtyard. A Shangbai is in her reading room and is busy writing an article. She is a middle-aged mother of three children and a journalist and women's rights activist. Lanthoy, her youngest daughter, enters the room. She is an intelligent girl. Today she looks thoughtful and she takes a seat by her mother's side. At the sight of her child, a Shangbai lovingly asks, Have you finished your study? My dear. Yes, mother, I finished it last night. Today being Sunday, I want to do something interesting. Lanthoy says and waits for her mother's response. Tell me what you want to do, a Shangbai asks her quite amused. Mother, tomorrow I'm going to represent the Sir Roy Lily House as a speaker in a symposium at our school. The topic is God created. Men and women as equals. Will you spare some time to have a discussion with me? Lanthoy presses on her mother. Lanthoy has just had a discussion with her father on the topic. Tomba, her father, is a husband supportive of the activities of his wife and a loving father. He is a lawyer and a social worker who advocates the cause of women. He is always proud of his wife, the two daughters and the son. In times of need, he extends his helping hand to his wife and children and to the society at large. He does not discriminate between a man's work and a woman's work anywhere. He shares equally with his wife in doing the household chores like cleaning, washing, cooking and feeding the children. Had he not shared in these activities in the way he does, his wife would not have been a successful professional. He wholeheartedly believes in equality irrespective of class, religion, and gender. In his discussion with his daughter, he laments over the great injustice done on women in the society, telling her, My dear child, the world is still full of inequalities. We have to find a way to bring equality between men and women. Her father's words are still ringing in the ears of Lanthoy, and she tells her mother of what her father has told her. Appreciative of her husband for his views, a Shangbai says, Your father is right. In no society do women enjoy the same opportunities enjoyed by men. It is because of your father that I feel no difference or inequality at home. But, Outside our home, I have seen that women have been subjugated in many ways. It is against the will of God. God has sent men and women to our earth to share the joys and sorrows of life equally, to share his blessings and to enjoy the bounty of nature equally. This is what your topic means. A Shangbai knows well that men and women are equal. Women, who are half of the human race, are as important as men. She writes and talks about such topics. Her daughter, though a child, also understands 
well that her mother is not a person of lesser quality than her father. She says, our home is full of love. With you, mother. The mother beams with joy at the words of her daughter. As a matter of fact, mother is the fountain of love in a family. This bond of love is beyond comparison with anything else in the world. It is because of this that motherhood has been glorified and women accept the challenges in life to become a mother. Showing deep affection, a Shangbai continues, pioneer women testify to the equality of women with men. Actually, life is not possible without both women and men. Lanthoy has been fascinated by the stories of pioneer women. Her grandmother had narrated many stories of the brave queens like Linthoingambi and Karanganayani, who were as brave as kings. There were also many brave women among the common people. These women, as her grandmother narrated, were makers of home, family, society, and the nation. They were civilizing influences. At the same time, they were also adventurers who claimed their shares in free land, plowed and raised crops with their own hands and drove cattle. Modern women have become mountaineers, naturalists, astronauts, scientists, soldiers, and political leaders. This proves that there is nothing a woman cannot do and also that women and men were created as equals. Then she asks her mother further, Mother, you've thrown light on the equality of men and women and also have emphasized that the world is still an unequal world. Then, what I would like to know is if there are moral, social, and legal provisions to enable women to express their physical and mental potential and to set themselves free from suppression. Amazed at the curiosity of her daughter, a Shangbai adds, there are many. Under the aegis of the United Nations, there is a declaration for a new world of equality. It has the following dimensions, a, equal access to basic social services including health and education, b, equal participation in political and economic decision making, c, equal reward for equal work, and d, elimination of discrimination and violence against women. Then the mother concluded, my dear daughter, we can affirm along with the United Nations that men and women are equals. Lanthoy understands what her mother means, and what the topic of the symposium means. Thus, confident of success, the next day, after thanking her mother, the girl of twelve happily rushes out of the room in the bright morning sun. The blue sky meets the range of the eastern mountains. The small girl is always fascinated by the small trail which winds up the distant purple mountain. Great video. Mom. Yes. I found a good channel for study. Great like the video share it to your school friends subscribe to it but what's the channel's name? Wings of Fire Academy.